Wednesday will be one month since the Florida school shooting, which killed 17 students and staff. The incident has brought calls for safer schools and tougher gun laws across the country. In this area, hundreds of local students plan to take time from their classes to remember the victims in Florida and make their own stands. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti gives us a preview of what a number of local districts will be doing. As students with the Youngstown Early College program get ready for this week's National Walkout Day, they tell me they want to get the attention of lawmakers. And get a bill passed to require background checks when you purchase a gun and ban assault weapons. Youngstown is one of a number of districts marking the month since 17 were killed at Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida with outdoor demonstrations and speeches. So we are trying to challenge everybody to know what's going on and to do something. The Youngstown students have been collecting signatures on petitions, which they plan to send to state and federal lawmakers. Organizers are with a group called Sojourn to the Past, which extensively studies the civil rights movement and believes young people are the key. It was children who brought about change in the 50s and 60s that also made uh, not only adults but presidents act. These are young adults that are expressing themselves and I think it's important to give them that, that opportunity. But not all districts will follow the same pattern. In Canfield, students will hold their event in the high school auditorium. We thought it wouldn't be wise to schedule something and have a district be behind an initiative to send youngsters outside at a, at a scheduled time. In Lordstown, there will be a roundtable discussion about safety and other concerns before students leave for Columbus to present letters they've written to lawmakers. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.